how is it different this year not having some guys that were in this lineup for a long time? Yeah, I mean, Marinelli was in the lineup for five years, Cameron Young. Uh, it's, it's nice. I don't want to say it's nice to have him out of the lineup because obviously I still want him here, you know, but it's nice to bring new guys in. It's get a fresh face, fresh feel, stuff like that, and um, give guys a chance. And the thing about having them in the program for so long is they left the foundation that uh, the other guys have to live up to. If you're filling one of those weight classes, you got big shoes to fill, and I think that's a great thing. Um, and luckily we have guys who are up to that challenge and who are gunning to be national title winners and contenders, and even if – the common people haven't heard of them yet. By the end of the season, I know what they're about. Jay, do you feel like you're, you know, moving into that leadership role? Is it different than maybe in the years past? Luckily, I'm on a team where leadership doesn't come with age. Um, Spencer Lee's been the leader of this team since I was a freshman, you know, and it's the same thing. Marinelli was a leader as a freshman, so I don't, I don't feel like I have to be a leadership to these guys because they take control of their own destiny and they take control of themselves and. I don't have to worry about them. I don't have to worry about whether they're doing the right thing or not. Um, obviously, I am older, so I would say, yeah, I'd probably take on some sort of leadership role as like, some guys come talking about certain different things, but um, I trust all of them to make their decisions, and they're doing a pretty damn good job at it. From from March until now, you know, what, what are some of the things that you – you've had to work on, you want to work on to get better for this season? Uh, just dealing with demons, you know, just dealing with what happened, uh, being that close and realizing that I still have that potential, still have that ability to be on top of the podium and um, technical things in the room, mental things outside of the room. It's just, it all brings, it all comes together at one and it might not come together today, what, October, whatever, 29th or 28th, whatever it is, but come March 19th, that's when it needs to be together. You feel like the old guy? Sometimes. Sometimes, because <laughs> I'll tell stories and people on the team don't know who I'm talking about. I'm like, oh, man. I'm like i got to explain who that is now, you know. Um, the team's changed a lot since I've been here. But, no, I still feel like the young guy. I still feel like the learner, you know. I'm still the. I'm still learning. I'm not, I'm not a finished product by any means, and it's a good thing to be. Yeah. When you talk about like the tactical things that you take into the offseason to work on, like was there anything specific after last season that you kind of honed in on? or Just wrestling where I'm best. Realizing, I mean, I probably didn't realize where I was good at wrestling until after Big Tens. And that's like crazy to say, but like talk to Tom and Terry, like my growth between Big Tens and Nationals was huge. And it wasn't because I did a whole lot different. You know, It wasn't because, oh, he got tougher. Oh, he wanted to win more. No, I've always wanted to win. It was just realizing oh I'm really good in this spot or I'm not really good in this spot like I got to change that and then just that little switch is what kind of made me like open my eyes and be like wow I, 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 I know how to wrestle now yeah was that like a, a last year specific thing or is that something you maybe experience various points in the calendar the last few years uh yeah I mean there's all throughout every year there's one little thing you pick up on throughout the year um, and that's kind of the goal. You're not gonna, you're not gonna get better overnight, you know. But maybe one day it clicks, and then you go on two weeks of it not clicking, and then it clicks again, and then it clicks a week later again, you know. So um, just trying to figure out and turn those pebbles, turn those pebbles over, turn those stones over to figure out what, what can help my wrestling as best. Yeah, I know they were joking about being a leader, um, but that seems like an easy lesson to maybe relate to some of the younger guys and or some of the newer guys that are going to be in the lineup this year, right? Yeah, we have leaders. Patrick Kennedy's a leader, you know, and <laughs> he's his first year in the lineup. He's been here for three years, but he's a leader, you know, and he's a young guy in the lineup. Colin Schriever's a leader, you know. It's doesn't age doesn't matter on this team, you know. We have guys that train hard, compete hard, and when you have two young guys like that, it's pretty easy to get behind them. It's pretty easy to look over and see Patrick Kennedy and Colin Shreve working their balls off and be like, oh, I got to pick it up. As a six year, you know, and I get a foot in my ass every once in a while too, and um, that's healthy. That's healthy for the team. That's healthy for, healthy for me. Absolutely. Um, last question, most important question. How is fantasy football going these first few weeks? It's horrible. <laughs> I'm two and five in our ESPN league, and although I did win last week. Hey, so there you go. I won right. last week. My team – Riddled with injuries, Javante Williams got hurt, Hollywood Brown got hurt. My team's garbage, so. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm kind of on a come up. I think I can sneak into the playoffs. We have a 12-man league. I think I can sneak in at sixth place. Okay. But I gotta like win out. I gotta have. A, <laughs> I gotta have a good rest of the year. But the problem is, I've scored the second most points in the league. But just everybody has their best but week against the, you. I've had three, the third most points scored against me. Mm. So I'm just sitting here like, what am I supposed to do here? I'm, I'm performing. <laughs> 
it's just not I'm just not getting the outcome I want. So kind of like wrestling, kind of hey. relates to that a lot. Hey, there you go. But no, luckily, and the Bears. I saw on ESPN they're in the hunt for the playoffs. So. That's, I mean, in the NFC, yes. You know, yeah. you look at the state of the conference. Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> Just get there, right? Yeah, get there. Get there and anything can happen. Yeah. Kind of like wrestling. Yeah, exactly. No. That's really good.